The Matter 1.4 specification was just released and there's some pretty big updates within it, but will it affect you? How much will it affect you? And actually, what are those updates? And that's everything I'm gonna give you today as we roll through the new updates with Matter. Hello automators, thanks for tuning in again. I'm Brian from Automate Your Life. My goal on the channel is to save you time and money on your journey to live smarter. So that's why I'm making a video that gives you uh, the breakdown of what's going on with the biggest smart home standard. Let's get to those five big areas that we see updates. We have two that go straight to how you manage a smart home today. The first one's called Enhanced Multi-Admin. This is intended to make it easier to set up devices and to manage those devices from multiple apps and multiple ecosystems. The second update that should help you manage your home is in something called Matter Certifiable Home Routers and Access Points. That is really just saying they're gonna pack thread into routers and access points in more ways, and I'll get to the details on that. The next two really speak to the coming of age of energy management in our home. And actually the first one that I'm gonna to talk to you about is all about new options for energy management, moving beyond basic things like scheduling with solar panels, batteries, and more. But the second update just adds new device types that are all related to energy management and you know heating and cooling your home. And finally, there are three core enhancements. That's what the Matter Standard folks are calling it. And those enhancements to me really feel a lot like the Matter Standard is figuring out that they can't just give the basics of control. They've gotta go a little deeper. They've gotta get things a little more sophisticated. Now I'm gonna take a bit of a deeper dive into each one of those updates. Let's start with Enhanced Multi-Admin. Today, when you set up a smart home product with Matter on it, you're going to have to choose the application that you wanna put it into. And then from that point forward, you have to share the device out to the other apps or ecosystems that you'd like to use. Enhanced multi-admin takes this another step. And the idea with it is that you'll be able to preset the apps that you would like a Matter device to go into immediately on setup. What that'll mean is you set the device up one time and then it goes to all of those apps. How that's implemented is still vendor specific. And so there's not a complete standardization of this. It means a number of apps are gonna give you this opportunity to set up in the other apps, but it's probably gonna look different and it might even work a little differently. A good example of that is, you know, is it gonna go into each app with the same name? And is it gonna go into each app with the same room? How are companies gonna manage that? I don't think they're gonna in a lot of cases, so they're probably just gonna, going to end up in default rooms with default names, and then you're still gonna have some extra work to do in those other apps. But we'll see how everyone implements this. The Matter Certifiable Home Routers and Access Points, this is one of the most interesting updates to me, and I think it has the biggest opportunity to proliferate the uh, matter standard well beyond what it is today. One of the biggest problems that we're having in smart homes today is that nobody, except you guys, know what thread is. And thread is a big part of the standard because it enables all kinds of low power devices. It gets a lot of things off of our Wi-Fi networks. It's a big component and it needs to be used. But because nobody knows about it, nobody knows how to manage it, we haven't had a lot of tools, it's really become a problem. And we don't have the infrastructure in our homes. So the way the Matter Standard is addressing this today is they are allowing for a certification of routers and access points without them having to be Matter controllers. 
That doesn't sound like much, but it does mean that to be MATTER certified, they would have the Wi-Fi component and then the thread component on board. So that would mean a lot of ISPs can now go out, create a MATTER certified router or access point or mesh system, and then they wouldn't have to create the app that has to control your whole smart home. And I think that's been a big barrier to a lot of companies creating matter ready uh, routers. What this means to you is three to five years from now, we should have the infrastructure in our homes on routers and access points for a full matter implementation. Um, with the additional updates to Thread 1.4 that we've talked about in previous videos, I'll leave a link to uh, the last one we did that really explains what the latest version of Thread does. But with those two updates being in place, we should start to have some really good management tools for Thread and we should have Thread in everyone's home, which just will make that matter logo, meaning it works with everyone's home. Now, I just wanna read these new device types for uh, the energy management enhancements, okay? Solar panels, batteries, heat pumps, and water heaters. Uh, they're also adding additional information and options for things like thermostats, uh, as well as uh, other energy management components. The additional options for when you use those components and when you don't use those components is actually the biggest addition. One of the best examples of this is being able to choose when a schedule is being used. It seems like a funny concept at first, but there are times when you want to turn on the schedule to charge those batteries up or to use them to feed your home. There are other times when you want to turn off that schedule. Uh, good examples of that is in major weather events. Maybe you want them always charging in that situation. A lot of people are going to be focused on I want to tie most of these systems to peak energy pricing. We all want to save money. Well, unfortunately, that's not coming till Matter 1.5. So you're going to have to wait for Matter 1.5 for peak energy pricing or energy pricing information to be added to the Matter standard. Every new device type that's being added to Matter 1.4 is related to energy management. So uh, solar panels. But this can include your inverters, individual panels, arrays of panels, or uh, hybrid systems of solar panels with batteries. And of course, batteries themselves, those power walls, battery energy storage systems. What they're really trying to get to is load balancing in apps. So management of how you're feeding your home with these battery storage systems. We've already talked about heat pumps, water heaters, but those are important components to have added into the standard and they will be managed differently than just a simple thermostat. Electric vehicles and the equipment that supplies those uh, those chargers, that is being added to the matter standard as well as a device type. So the idea here is that you'll be able to control when your vehicle is being charged. Again, we're just getting some of those pieces in place for you to make decisions uh, based on energy pricing. Now, what does all of this energy management stuff mean? I think in general, I really like what I'm seeing here. I like the focus on helping people save energy and money and, and you know even time in their lives at some level with this stuff. But I, I don't like one aspect of all of this. And I'm gonna kinda come out here and, and uh, show my colors a little bit. One of the things that's happened in the smart home industry is that we've continually seen good makers who make 
good quality products kind of saying we can't make enough money with direct to consumer. We've seen companies like Google go from a strategy of trying to sell you every little product that they have through the Nest lineup to more or less just trying to integrate with ADT, gain subscriptions, gain that in uh, that, that spot that just gets them into your home through the security systems with ADT. And we've seen other companies kind of take this approach. I watched a lot of small companies go from, yeah, we're selling to consumers, we're selling to consumers, to we're selling to apartment complexes, large builders, large scale builders to try and shoehorn our way into lots of homes. But there's not a lot of thought from a, a whole system perspective. How are people gonna manage these things? The problem with this is that it's a lot of large corporations that are gonna take advantage of this whole home energy management solution. There's not gonna be a lot of direct-to-consumer options, or at least I don't think we're gonna see a ton. So what I see happening with this is that companies will create energy management solutions and they'll go into new builds for the most part. I don't think we're gonna see a lot of upgrades of existing tech with new controllers, although there is some talk of that. So it's not all bad. I just think a lot of this energy management stuff is gonna go into larger pre-created systems for homes and uh, it might be a little difficult for us to then modify those systems depending on how they're set up. So I wanna see Matter provide that true open opportunity for us and I worry about these updates a little. I'll get off my high horse or my uh, stool here and get on to the other updates. Now, there are three additional core enhancements. I like all of these. Uh, dimmable load controllers and mounted on off switches. So, you know, in a lot of cases, fans, they were appearing like uh, a light switch in Matter apps, uh, things like small appliances as well. And just when we say the word dimmable, that doesn't have to necessarily mean uh, a light or, or a fan. Like a fan can slow down, you can bring that down, but if it's just treated like a basic light, you might not feel like you have control of lower speeds of things like fans or heaters. Maybe my very favorite update of the whole thing is that occupancy sensors are getting some additions. So occupancy sensors are already available in Matter. All of these presence sensors, that's what we normally call them in the, the smart home space. They're getting additional sensitivity settings, some tuning options and history reporting. All of those things uh, will be very nice benefits for us in Matter Ready apps because it'll let us tune those, not necessarily in the manufacturer's app. Should open up additional options. But what I'm really excited about are the three different technologies they talked about. Radar, which is what we see today. Vision, which is much more like cameras, by the way, cameras were not added to Matter 1.4, if you care about that thing. But Vision is a different type of occupancy sensor. Uh, one of the ones that I really loved from a number of years ago uh, from Samsung, I think it was called the Vision or something to that effect. Uh, fantastic sensor and it just needed a little more support. So it'd be great to see those come back ambient sensing tech and uh, you know if you've worked in automation for a while you can create systems of sensors that can know if someone's in the space and uh, it's great to see that being talked about so that's a little bit of a future look ahead for you in regards to some new tech that's maybe coming any battery powered device is getting an update for how it communicates and works within uh, the Matter standard. Now, battery powered devices are really important for us because uh, that means we can kind of stick sensors all over our home. They're getting two updates, uh, the long idle time protocol and the check-in protocol. What both of these updates should do 
is they should extend battery life and increase reliability with those battery powered devices, which are things that we need the Matter Standard to address a little bit right now. So I love all three of those updates, uh, but I'd love to hear what you guys are thinking and what you're thinking about all these different updates. I'll give you my sense and my feeling of what Matter 1.4 means for you right now. It's not all rosy, and that's kind of the, the first thing that I want to point out. Uh, Matter 1.3, so the previous version, was released in May, and we're just seeing uh, Samsung, Home Assistant, and Apple rolling out their Matter 1.3 updates. Uh, they're kind of the first platforms to get all of the work done around that. So, you know, May to October, we've got a few months in between there. It's actually a pretty quick cycle there, but lots of the Matter Ready apps are still not at Matter 1.3. So there's a timeline that this new update is going to take. And uh, The Verge had reached out to Amazon and Google on this news and you know Amazon said hey we're looking forward to implementing this next year no other timelines given uh, Google said they're actively working on enhanced multi admin right now great to hear but gave no timeline on anything else on the positive side there's a lot of good additions here and Matter is starting to cover almost every device type that we traditionally have in our home from electronics to even some new device types that have been developed in the last few years. A lot of the solar technology, the battery storage systems, these are fairly new systems. I, I know solar is older, but uh, th those are fairly new components for us. So it's great to see some new tech getting smart home updates and a drive towards saving people money with energy management. Uh, I think it's great that the folks over at the CSA have identified some of their gaps in how the standard's working. You know, those recognitions of gaps in the standard are really important and enhanced multi-admin is probably the very best example of them addressing a big gap. So lots of good things being addressed by this. All of those very positive. I'd love to hear what you guys think. And if you want to check out that video that talks about the updates to Thread and some other technologies, that's up on screen right there for you. So go check that out. It'll teach you all about what's coming to your smart home. Otherwise, thanks for watching today. And of course, live smart.